What's up, people? This is Guru coming at you again with another video, and welcome to the Geek Assault channel. Yo, we got a good one for y'all guys. We're doing a discussion breakdown of the character of Vegeta and my man Jiren. Um, let's get right into this, man. Um, I'm spawning this off of the last episode of Dragon Ball Super. That would be episode 126, and I'm bringing the Jiren's character is brought into question by the end of the episode. If you haven't seen it already, uh, this will be spoiler. So if you haven't seen 126, you're probably gonna need to go check it out and uh, come back to this video. So um, you've been warned. Let's go with it. Okay, in the, um, episode 126, after the defeat of Topo, we see that Jiren says, "I am." He pretty much said he was disappointed in him. He said he was pathetic, and he was disappointed in Topo. So everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would Jiren say that to his friend? Why would he say that to uh Topo like that? And it wasn't a it wasn't a uh uh it wasn't a direct show of what his character was in a negative way. It was the complete opposite of what a lot of people are saying about him. Some people said it was a dick move, he being a jerk, why they said now they saying Jiren's evil. And it's not nothing of the sort. This is why he said it. Jiren is a man of principle. He has he walks he has a he has ideals that he lives by. He has a code that he lives by. Like the Bushido. He's a warrior. The samurai code. There's some things they don't violate. They stand by a certain amount of rules and they walk that path. You know, some people say it's the way of the warrior. Now, the ideal of the justice, uh the justice troop was justice and some people say good morality whatever it is, but you know morality can go either way but justice is justice and that's what the main principle that they their crew stood upon and it's what they preached all the time you remember Jaron always dabbing on the principle of justice and Jaron was about that too he was fighting for being just so just Jaron was looking at himself as a just person so he can't go there so if he strayed from that he's outside of the way he's supposed to be living you know what i'm saying so he's gonna be against evil and he's gonna be against injustice that's the man who he is that's his principle that's his way of life that's the walk he walks now what did topo do when his back was against the wall, he stated, he's not about justice no more. And he decided to become a god of destruction. So what did he do? He turned his back on his ideals and picked up a new set of ideals in order to gain power. And this, the power he was going to gain was for his survival. In somewhat way, that is a selfish cause. But people do the first law of nature for anything is so is so to survive. Right? That's one thing, it's to survive. Now, he picks up this man to gain this power boost. He throws away his ideals to become a god of destruction. Now, not being now he said, I am beyond. I don't know if he said good or evil or whatever, but he said now he's on God level now. He's going to vanquish his opponents. Even though they're not evil, he's going to vanquish his opponents by throwing away his ideals to gain this power. And in doing so, he still was defeated. So what did Topo gain? He didn't defeat anybody. His opponent's still standing there. He threw away his ideals and he lost. The ideals that he stood by, his crew stood by, and Jiren stood by, he threw them away for the sake of power just to survive and he still lost. Now Jiren looks at him because remember Jiren also said, so you made up your mind. So Jiren was always stronger than Topo they had to come to Jiren at some point in time and say, do you want to be the next guy of destruction? 
and he saw God of destruction is not a just cause or walking in a, the path of justice. That's why he turned it down. That wasn't the, the, the God of destruction course of life or way of life was going to co was going to go against what he thought was justice because it's going to come a time if you're a God of destruction, you're going to have to destroy the innocent. You're not a protector no more. You're not looking for justice. You're doing a job and your job is to destroy now. That's not always justice. Even though you destroy some evildoers, but what if you got to destroy a, 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 a planet of good people just because they were weak? Just do your job. Is that just? So he said, so he's had to turn it down and Topo's the next strongest and Topo was turning it down. But then he, all of a sudden, he, so he had some kind of struggle there. All of a sudden he decided his back pushed against the wall. Now I want to be the God of destruction. I'll accept this power because I'm losing. I can't defeat this enemy. Now, flashback to Vegeta. When he battled Vegeta, Vegeta fought him one on one. Win, lose, or draw his own power. And he told Vegeta, you cannot beat me. Because your fist, you have an arrogant fist. And Vegeta said that is true. You know, because the arrogance come with his race. That's who he is. That's the same pride that's in him. And it comes across as arrogant. And he's not going to turn his back on his people. So if it's being arrogant comes with his race, he's going to represent his race to the whatever is fit. So he never went back on who he was and the path that he walks. Vegeta's always had pride in his people. He always said he represented the Saiyans. When you see him, you see a Saiyan. It wasn't a job for him to be the prince. He is the prince. He is a Saiyan. He walks it. He talks it. He lives it. And whatever comes with being a Saiyan, that's who he is. That's his ideals. That's his walk in life. That is his code. And then Vegeta with his own power. He is the only character. Once again, I repeat for all you Goku fanboys. Vegeta is the only character to put down Topo. I mean to put down Jiren. He put Jiren down with the final flash. Dick in the dirt. No ultra, no ultra instinct. He didn't even have his new power up yet when he did it. He put it down with his own pride, his own strength. He dropped Jiren. Dropped him. The only character that's done this so far was go was Vegeta. Vegeta, he came back up, and what did he say to Vegeta? That wasn't a half bad attack. He, he never acknowledged Goku like that. He acknowledged Vegeta like that. And then when Vegeta, when he put Vegeta down with that last attack, what did he say? Warrior, sleep. He gave him his respect. Even the Kai of Universe 7 said that's somebody giving him some respect by calling Vegeta a warrior. He never called Goku no warrior. He doesn't even know what Goku ideals were. When he put Goku down, when Goku was fighting with Ultra Instinct, which he didn't drop, <laughs> he still didn't um, drop Jiren. He said Saiyans are uh, our inner race and race meaning he didn't directly give a compliment to goku he gave a compliment to the race which vegeta is a part of but when he put vegeta down what he said he talked to him directly he called him a warrior because vegeta didn't take the when he was back against the wall he didn't take the power boost he faced him one-on-one -on -one, man to man warrior to warrior my ideals against your ideals so he had to respect vegeta and then when vegeta beat topo what did he say nobody that throws away who they are can defeat me now if go if if my man jiren goes by the bushido spirit aka the warrior's way the samurai code and he acknowledged vegeta as a warrior and vegeta stand by his code Who's on one of this game by they call him threw it away? Topo. 
Vegeta fought him with his own strength and won and stayed who he was at heart. Kept his same ideals at heart and won. You threw it all away and lost. So that's why Jiren has more respect for Vegeta than he would for Topo. That's why Jiren really isn't an evil guy like people think he is. It's just that y'all see now where he stands. That's why him and Vegeta kind of got a little bond together. Because remember, who tried to check him? Goku tried to check Jiren. Hey, man, why you say that? What did he do? He kicked his ass out of damn what's called. Man, that was beautiful. I love that, man. Shut the hell up, Goku. He, everybody... That's one thing I do like about Super. Goku doing all the dumb stuff. I like, and I like Goku. I'm not a Goku basher, but I'm just saying. The little aggravating stuff and not the a lot of it, <laughs> the stuff he do, you know, get over nerves. He got on Jiren. Jiren turned around and Roundhouse Chuck Norris kicked his ass into the mouth. Like, man, like, shut the hell up, man. We got grown men talking, man. Dang, man. That wasn't something to say. Pow, shut up. Because why? Goku doesn't understand that. When has Goku ever said anything that he stands for? I like to fight. I want to fight the strongest guys. I want. He has. He has no. He has no real goal. The goal is what I want to fight and be stronger. I remember back in the day, everybody used to criticize my man Ichigo because Ichigo didn't really have a a, a goal. And my man, shout out to the the big homie Uba Akari. He said, a character doesn't need a goal as long as he has a purpose. Beautifully said, my dear. Uber Kari need to come back. Now, Ichigo did have a purpose. He wanted to protect his friends and protect his planet. And, uh, same thing with Goku. Goku does have a purpose. He wants to protect his friends and want to protect the Earth. But just having a purpose doesn't make you a great character. And not having a goal doesn't have automatically make mean that you're not a great character. But that is why Vegeta is a way more developed character than Goku. We see the change, we see the progress, we see where he stands. Even as a father, you see where he, he stuck around with Mama while she was pregnant, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. We see the change and growth in Vegeta, so much so. But we don't see that with Veg Goku. Goku's been the same character he's been since he's been from Dragon Ball. He's still like that 12 year old boy. You know, he's he does his thing, you know, he's gotten stronger, but yet mentally he the character never developed. He's still that twelve year old little boy. He's still like innocent that's why he can jump on Nimbus and fly around and all that. He's never changed at heart. He is the one thing I will say, he's kept a pure heart. As to speak. You know, he he, he is that. But what do you stand for? Who are you? What's your what what is your warrior way? Like in order, what's your ninja way? What are you willing to die for? What's your what's what you know? What I'm saying you gotta have a man. Gotta have something, not just a purpose. And so that's what makes Vegeta right now a better character. Cause you see, one point in time, you see, when you trade your purpose for power, you lose. And that's what Vegeta almost did. When he became Majin Vegeta, he knew that he could. He was strong enough to beat Goku. So what did he do? He allowed himself to get taken over. But what, what did he say? The only thing I will say about this is that. When he became Majin Vegeta. Vegeta said. You can take my body. They can take my mind. But you'll never take my pride. He couldn't control Vegeta. You know. So it wasn't all the way. I'm just going to flip all the way over here. You know what I'm saying. And even with the power boost. He got from Majin Buu. He didn't get defeated by uh, Goku. You know what I'm saying? He did, he did lose the, well, destroyed himself uh, with Majin Buu. But he did that on his own terms. And once again, he did that to save his family. You know, that was him. He said, I do this for Bulma. And he did it for Trunks. That's what he said it for. He didn't even do it for his own pride. He did it for his family. So, yo, so 
that's what I'm debating. I don't think Jiren is evil, and um, we don't got a little bit left to go. So maybe in the, uh, in the manga they'll describe more about what is his true reason why is he walked this path, and what is his true motive, and what is his wish. Because the only reason he entered the tournament is for this wish. So one has to think that whatever this wish is, it's got to be beyond justice. Because at first he wasn't going to even enter the tournament because he felt that it's not just for him to survive killing other innocent people or putting other people at their demise is my survival. So he said, if we if we get a race, that's just my fate. That's how just Jiren was. And he said this in the manga, of course, we never we never got this in the anime, but that's what he said. He said it was my turn to get destroyed. That's just my fate. But then the wish was brought up. Then he changed his mind. So one got to think, what does he want so bad that he would throw away? Well, I'm going to say throw away, that he'll give up his ideals of what he thinks is just and unjust in order to wish for it. So that's when we can actually call him a hypocrite. But until then, we don't know. So this is my breakdown of uh, Vegeta. Jiren, the Bushido Spirit Warriors. And uh yeah, Jiren's not a bad guy, guys. So check me out. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, notification button, all that good stuff. Like and subscribe. Uh we got new heat each week. So be on the lookout. We got a whole bunch of new content coming to the channel. Yeah, so be on the lookout. This is the guru. Holla at y'all later. Peace.